Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be using grep, which is a tool we use all the time. Um, but we're going to use it to search for lines that contain tabs. I have two techniques for doing this, both fairly similar. Um, so here's an example. I'm going to cat out file2.txt. I have a file that has a few lines in it, uh, and a few of the lines have tabs. Some don't. This one doesn't, this one doesn't, and this one doesn't. So let's say we want to find just the lines containing tabs. We can say grep, and we can do dollar sign, and then tell it backslash t uh, inside single quotes there, and the name of the file, uh, file2.txt. And so this is saying to look at regular expression tab. Uh, so there it is finding lines containing tabs. If we don't give it the dollar sign, it thinks we're looking for T's and it will find all lines containing T's. Not really sure what the dollar sign stands for there. If you're a viewer and you know what it stands for in this case, uh, comment below. It might just be another way of saying another way that I'm going to show you here is if we do this dash P, a capital P, uh, what it's telling grep to do is uh, when it's looking at regular expressions, to use Perl regular expressions, because different languages use regular expressions differently. And here it's telling it to use Perl. So if you're a Perl programmer, which is one language I have not really gotten into, but if you are, you're probably familiar with regular expressions for Perl. Well, now you can use them in grep uh, with the dash P option there. So there we get the tabs. Um, I'm not saying this is the only way to grep for tabs, but this is, these are the two ways I found. Once again, I'm not really sure what the dollar sign stands for there. Might just be another way to say to use Perl tabs, uh, or Perl regular expressions. If you know, comment below. Let me know. I hope you found this useful if you're searching for tabs. And of course, if you uh, want the reverse, uh, you can always do dash I here. And no, I'm sorry, not dash I. Dash I is case sensitive dash V will give you a reverse search. So instead of finding all lines with tabs, it will output all lines without tabs. And that's true with anything you search. Um, so if I was to search for lines containing the word tab, this will give me the reverse. This will give me all lines without tab with a capital T. And of course, you can always do dash I, which says case insensitive. So here we get all lines that don't contain tab regardless of uh, uh, the case. So threw a few little extra things in there at the end. Hope you found this useful. Uh, I hope you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. Check out the link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.